For today's lab, we're going to be looking at Staphylococcus aureus. Step one is to make your one to 10 dilution. Weigh one piece of ravioli and add 90 ml of buffered peptone water. Stomach your sample at 230 RPM for one minute. Step two is to make your dilutions up to one to one million. Step three is to plate your dilutions. This week we're going to use a new plating method. So we're going to add 250 microliters to four Baird Parker plates from the same dilution. In this case, we're using 10 to the minus four. Spread the plates like normal. Continue for dilutions 10 to the minus 5 and 10 to the minus 6. Step 4 is to conduct your MPN method. Add 1 ml of the 10 to the minus 4 dilution to a TSB with 10% NaCl MPN tube. Continue this for the 10 to the minus 5 and 10 to the minus 6 dilutions.
Step five is to incubate your plates and your tubes. Plates should be incubated at 35 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. Step six is to check and record your results. Colony should be gray to black with a light colored halo. Here's just another bottom view of the plate. Count the colonies and then add all four plates up from the same dilution to get your results for that dilution. Also check your MPN tubes. The TSB with 10% salt tubes should be turbid if they are positive. Step seven is to conduct the catalase test. Add a typical colony to a clean slide. Add a drop of hydrogen peroxide to the slide. Bubbling indicates a positive result. Step eight is to conduct your staph latex agglutination test. Add drops of staph reagent to three chambers on the test card. Add a drop of the positive control to one chamber. Add a drop of the negative control to another chamber. Take a typical colony from your Baird Parker plate and add it onto a third chamber. Mix the colony in with the reagent. Mix the liquids in the other two chambers with the positive and negative controls using a separate mixing stick for each chamber. Pick up the card and shake in a circular motion for about 45 seconds. Positive tests agglutinate, which means clumps of bacteria form. You can see heavy agglutination from our sample in the leftmost chamber. The middle chamber is the positive control where you can see some agglutination. The rightmost chamber is the negative control. There is no agglutination there.